Hey everybody, Brian with the Lots Project here, and today we're going to be talking about the solution we came up to mount our Caliger hand wringer for when we do our laundry on the road. All right, so as you probably know, we do our laundry by hand on the road. Uh, Corey's done a couple videos about making our hand soap or making our laundry soap and how she does the laundry. I'll put links to those in the in the video description. But uh, what we do at the end before we dry, hang dry our clothes is we run them through this uh, Caliger hand wringer. Uh, there's also a link for this where you can pick it up on Amazon down in the show notes and pretty much all the other supplies we do use to do our laundry. Uh, but one thing we couldn't figure out is how we wanted to mount this. Uh, there isn't a place to permanently mount it. There wasn't a good place in the camper. We've tried different things. Uh, you can do it vertically or horizontally. These, swi uh, these swivel and can adjust in and out. Uh, but we really didn't have anywhere to, to mount it and then to be able to easily put it on, take it off because we don't do laundry all the time. So we brainstormed for quite a while. We've used it a few different times, a few different ways and finally uh, came up with a way to mount this. So Corey and I were brainstorming. She described something to me. I was picturing something totally different. Uh, went out, kind of put the ideas together in my head, pictured it, built something up, and she said that's exactly what she described. Uh, so she wants credit. I don't know. Maybe it's just the male and female mind. But here, I'll walk you through and show you what I did. All right, so what I came up with, uh, what we came up with, I guess, was uh, like a little plank here. Uh, this is kind of heavy, I don't know, maybe 10 pounds or so. Uh, so that being, it, it isn't wide enough to clamp on the tailgate of the truck. I didn't know if I wanted to do that. So I got a measurement, I saw how thick I could clamp onto uh, and just grabbed some scrap wood and made this up. So how this is gonna work is, I have a little block under here that's gonna allow me to slide it only so far. It's gonna hit, we're gonna, hit the tailgate here that's to, to give the handle enough room to circular uh, go in the circle without whacking your hand on the on the tailgate but how we're gonna do this we're gonna push it in set it on the tailgate we're gonna take something heavy we carry these 30 pound uh, propane tanks uh, all sorts of other stuff gasoline all sorts of heavy stuff but there's a nice little plank here put some weight on it so it's not gonna tip over when we're using it when you're when you're cranking on it, sometimes it's getting a little rough, uh, heavy clothes, and then like I said, that weighs 10 pounds or so. So we're gonna set this on here. That's gonna give us some counterweight. Gave these rails uh, to give it some more stability. All I had for a, a piece of plank was, uh, I think this is half inch ply board that I was using for something else. Uh, I grabbed that, put these two by twos on the side just for uh, some stability so it doesn't wanna bend in half. And then, uh, yeah kind of screwed it all together real quick. Uh, we're gonna test it out uh, for a while on the road. If it's something that we really like, I'm guessing it's gonna be working. Otherwise, maybe make some modifications or a complete change if it's not what we want. But here, I'm gonna show you how it goes on. If I turn them the right way, they'll uh, they'll go. But everything's upside down and backwards, and uh, sometimes you you miss what you need to do here. But tighten that up, snug that one. And there we go. So we can get some quite a bit of weight on here, and it's not going to flip off. Uh, if we need more weight, I have all sorts of stuff I can hang on here. Then we could also put a laundry basket on here with the wet clothes in it. We will be able to feed them in and roll them down into a, a clothes basket. We do have a diverter here for uh, water if we wanted to put it vertical or if we wanted to direct it away in a certain direction that comes with that. We don't, we don't necessarily use it all the time. But anyway, we love the ringer, just didn't have any way to mount it. Now we do. So we're gonna test it out, hopefully it works. Yeah, so follow along, follow along for all the other things we're coming up with and, uh, and things we're trying to figure out. Uh, 
yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on alerts, and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching.